Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we will again solve a very interesting question on parallel RL circuits. Okay, so before starting the video, obviously, uh, do hit the like button if you like this series. So this is a series of circuit queries. You can follow this playlist here. And like there is also another uh, series of uh, analog electronics decoded where I've solved interesting question on analog de uh, electronics decoded. Also, there is one playlist for RL RC marathons. Uh, I will soon bring a marathon on rc circuits with current excitation okay so uh, like that will be soon coming to this channel so do subscribe to my channel for getting uh, this new content and all the other new contents so yeah let's start with the question so the question here states that determine the peak to peak value of the output voltage in the circuit above so or it's, it's in the our case it is in below so i will write it below here so in the circuit below we have to find the peak to peak value of the output voltage output voltage is across this inductor and we have to find the peak to peak value of this so if you remember something uh, in choppers and all those things right we used to find the peak to peak value uh, of the inductors if you remember of the of the output voltage uh, because there the uh, uh, like uh, currents were going uh, in triangular fashion if you remember properly so but here what is happening here right we are giving it some uh square waveform which is a current waveform and this uh waveform is uh like 50 percent duty cycle okay so how to do how to proceed in this question how to proceed in this question so first of all what you need to understand is that just proceed normally so whenever there is a pulse type waveform given right square wave given you have to compare the tau of the circuit with the time period of the input or t on right until while my uh, waveform is giving some signal okay so how to compute that how to compute that basically first of all what is the tau in this case tau is l by r okay tau is l by r so l is 1 milli henry divided by r is 1 kilo okay so it will be one microsecond okay so tau is one microsecond now let's compute the t on what is t on t on in our case they have mentioned here it is it is with 50 percent duty cycle it is with 50 percent duty cycle and sorry this is this is uh, uh, like this they have given the t on directly here but even if like they have they have given, uh, given t right then we, we could have computed t on so until which my circuit is like this so not circuit this current source is giving this some input is equals to 0.1 microsecond so i can say that my t on is much much lower than 4 tau 4 tau is 4 microseconds right t on is much much less than 4 tau so it doesn't have sufficient time to reach steady state so what will happen please do watch my pulse response marathon video there i have explained everything right how pulse response of rc rl circuits all those things work okay i will not explain here further but what will happen is it will oscillate around certain value okay obviously it will reach steady state it will reach steady state but the voltage will will oscillate okay else what would have happened if uh, my for uh, this uh, t1 t on was much much greater than 4 tau then what would happen it would have reached steady state before this waveform goes to zero okay what do i mean by that basically here my 5 milliampere is right that means my 5 milli milliampere is applied in this circuit for a sufficient amount of time so that this inductor will reach steady state if the case was opposite here that means the current through it would become 5 milliampere somewhere around here okay it will be somewhere around here then what will happen is that this input has gone to zero but the inductor will discharge slowly okay and it will discharge fast also then again at 5 milliampere it will again charge again it will discharge slowly and again charge it right? the waveform will be something like this okay so this i have already taught in my pulse response marathon please go through that but this is the other case what is the other case it will some somehow somewhat charge okay then again then again what will happen uh, just hold on it will some way charge then again the current has gone to zero so it will discharge then again charge then discharge like that it will, it will happen and at steady state it the it will reach the average value okay at steady state the current through it will be constant the current through it will be constant and the voltage will oscillate between uh, peak to peak values so it will be triangular i will show you i will show you but what will be the current through it 
what will be the steady state current so at steady state what can i say the average voltage across my inductor will be zero over a time period right the average voltage across uh, my uh, sorry uh, yeah the average voltage across my inductor will be zero because the current will be constant right if the current is constant the average voltage will be zero so if the average voltage is zero that means what this average voltage is zero so i can say that my vl average equals to zero so if vl average is equals to zero that means my vo average is also equals to zero or i can write this as ir average into r right this is ir average into r so ir average into r should be equals to zero right so r is a constant number so i can divide by r on both sides i can divide by r on both sides so my ir average is equals to zero this is the information that we receive next i can write the kcl right i can write the kcl at this note i can write the kcl at this note what is the kcl it is equals to uh i in this is i in right yeah this is equals to i in equals to ir plus i now if i take the average on both sides what will happen this will be i in average equals to ir average plus il average now our il average uh, sorry ir average is zero right I, ir average is zero so il average will be equals to i in average so il average will be equals to i in average now what is my i in average so you can compute the area under a time period it is 5 into t on divided by t and t is equals to uh, sorry t on equals to 0.5 t so it will be equals to 5 into t on divided by t so 5 into 0.5 t so it will be 2.5 milliamperes this will be my il average okay this will be my il average now this is my inductor average current okay but what have they asked me they have asked me about the voltage right they have asked me about the voltage what will the peak to peak value of the output voltage now for this let us try to understand what will be the value of the output voltage according to this current so if i draw the circuit right if i draw the circuit in two stages if i draw the circuit in two stages one stage is case one like this type of analysis i have done in my pulse response marathon please go and watch that i will not elaborate it much here okay so what is my case one case one is one my like this is i am talking about steady state first of all i am talking about steady state okay talking about steady state and case one is basically uh this right that when my i in is equals to 5 milliamperes so i in is 5 milliamperes so let me just copy this circuit here i in is 5 milliamperes right i in is 5 milliamperes and i know my inductor is at steady state so its current is 2.5 milliamperes its current is 2.5 milliamperes so its current will be 2.5 milliamperes this will be 5 milliamperes okay now can i compute the voltage yes right what will the current through this current through this will be 2.5 milliamperes so vo vo will be 2.5 milliamperes into 1 kilo ohms 1 kilo ohms so this is equals to 2.5 volts so vo in this case right is just 2.5 volts just when this in is 5 milliamperes then what will happen this inductor will charge further 
ऑल दो इट वोट गो टू मच हायर दैन टू पॉइंट फाइव मिली एम्पेयर्स वाई आई विल नॉट एक्सप्लेन हेयर बिकॉज हेयर माई टी ऑन टी ऑन इज मच मच लेस दैन फोर टाउ सो माई इंडक्टर वोट गेट इनफ टाइम टू चार्ज ओके इट विल जस्ट स्लाइटली गो एव इफ इट स्लाइटली गोज एव दैन दिस करंट इंक्रीजेस दिस करंट रिड्यूसेज सो द वोल्टेज आउट टू वोल्टेज विल रिड्यूस फ्रॉम यर सो दिस इज द पीक वैल्यू दिस इज द पीक वैल्यू ओके इट कैनॉट गो एव दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट इट विल ऑलवेज गो बिलो दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट सो वी ओ पीक ओके पीक वन एंड वॉट अबाउट द पीक टू ओके सो लेट्स स्टडी द केस टू सो इन केस टू what is happening is that my i in current is zero right i'm talking about from the period of t on to t like uh, not exactly t on to t because this is the first cycle only i'm talking about the thousand cycle thousand cycle when my i in goes to zero okay so when my i in goes to zero that means this one will, will be gone only this part will be present because my inductor current will still remain same that is a 2.5 milliamps so this one will get open circuited so all of this current will go through this so what will the output voltage now now this current right is going in the opposite direction so this voltage will be minus 2.5 volts minus 2 uh, like into 1 kilo ohms so now this is minus right because current in, is in the opposite direction so it will be minus 2.5 volts so this is the vo peak 2 okay so what is the peak to peak voltage now what is happening after this that obviously this inductor will discharge now if this inductor discharges the current through this will be reducing it will go more towards zero it will go more towards zero so this voltage also will go more towards zero okay voltage will also increase in the uh, towards zero right so this will also lower this will this will also lower so as the voltage is decreasing hence this will only this will, this can't go below this right this can't go more negative this is the highest negative possible value of this output voltage so what will be the peak to peak voltage peak to peak output voltage the peak to peak output voltage will be simply 2.5 minus of minus 2.5 equals to 5 volts so this will be my answer right so if you if you couldn't understand i will i will like put the link to the pulse response marathon video please do watch that obviously it is not possible for me to explain everything over and over again right there i have explained every uh, pulse response in detail and precise manner that was for voltage sources okay uh, you can understand for current sources as well okay uh, so yeah, that's it for this video the answer will be 5 volts don't forget to like the video if you did uh, and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching